So today we're speaking with Mary Roselle, founder of Big B Coffee. So Mary, last year Big B saw the highest sales in 12 years and you added 22 new stores. You say the secret is focusing on customer service. Can you explain how you stay committed to delivering quality service and how you keep employees trained and motivated? Um, surely. We believe, we have a, a couple things that we believe in strongly in our company. One is PERC, and I will explain that, and the other one is position priority. And PERC is uh, four parts uh, that all of our staff uh, learns and practices in our stores. And the P of PERC is perception by the customer that we respect their time and move them as quickly as possible. E, every customer leaves the store in a better mood than when the customer arrives. R, recognize each customer as an individual, and C, consistently produce a high quality beverage. And we practice that every day, and uh, our customers come to expect those things in our store. The other uh, part of it is our position priorities. Uh, we have three main positions in our store, which is cashier, shot puller, milk steamer, and each one of those has specific uh, tasks to perform. And uh, like for instance, the cashier is always supposed to be present at the point of uh, ordering and uh, greet the customer and take their orders. The, the, we call the shot puller. This is all relation to a, a espresso machine. Uh, moves the order uh, from the cashier to the milk steamer. Uh, and, and then the last person, the milk steamer, engages if their primary function and their task is to actively engage the customer in conversation while they are steaming milk and finishing and presenting the drink. So how do you keep these employees uh, motivated to stay engaged with, with the customers? What kind of training is involved? Well, we have extensive training and uh, for our uh, uh, all of our employees, I'm a strong believer in uh, training, so important. Uh, I, I believe that every employee wants to do a good job, so it's the uh, our responsibility to make sure they have the tool, which is training, so they can do a good job. And then the second part of that is we give them permission to talk and be friendly with the customer. So we encourage them to do that. I see. That, that's great. Mm -hmm. um, you also have said that uh, you get out there and, and find out what customers want. You actively collect um, insight. How do you facilitate that dialogue and, and constantly stay connected with customers? Well, our CEO, again, that was Bob Fish, uh, my partner, uh, is in our stores every day. Uh, he, he uh, this last year, uh, closed his office here in our corporate office, and he's out on the road. He goes into stores every day. Customers uh, get very excited about him coming there and meeting him, and, and he stays in touch with not only the customers, but also our franchise owners and the staff. Uh, and um, he has a, uh, a website, uh, it's just bigbybob.com, and uh, you can check that out through our uh, website. We also have a feedback uh, form on our website, and we have in every store a uh, telephone called the Be Heard Hotline, and a customer can pick that up, and it comes right here to our main office, and we all take turns answering that. So uh, Bob answers it. I answer it some days. Everybody who works in the main office takes a turn answering that. And it helps us stay in touch with our customers and what they're thinking and feeling and what they would like to see. Do you use any forms of social media as well? What do you mean? Sorry. Uh, any type of blogs? Um, oh, yes. Yeah. Sure. Oh, sure. I'm sorry. Of course. Yeah, if, if he's on Twitter and Facebook and, and all of those. And uh, our website, which is bigb.com, if you went to that, you would see the lounge and uh, uh, you would be able to enter into uh, dialogue in, in those particular uh, different sites. That's great. I'll have, to, I'll have to check them out. Yeah. Um, now, how do you feel that Big B stands out from the other big coffee chain that, that I won't mention? Well, well, no, that's fine. Uh, what, what makes us, uh, our focus is providing the customer with the best retail experience they have had in any given week. And we do that by executing perks and our position priority. So uh, 
it, that's the way that we stand out, providing our tra you know, training for our staff, as I said, giving them permission, and trying to provide the best retail experience, which is greeting the customer, talking to them, recognizing them. Those are all important things. And uh, as far as position priorities, I think that has set us uh, apart from uh, a lot of different businesses because um, uh, we believe in uh, in educating or training the, our staff person to uh, know how to do their job uh, and, and uh, the importance of that position and the things they do. And um, it's more of a, well, it, it, when you somebody takes the order and it sort of moves down the line. I, I, I used to go into so many things, uh, different businesses in the beginning and somebody take your order and then uh, uh, they would go make your sandwich or make your drink or whatever business it was. It didn't matter. And uh, just from our experience, we developed this other uh, system that's worked very well for us. And, and how do you plan to grow your customer strategy in, in 2009? Uh, we just to keep on doing what we're doing, uh, but we think that if that works, uh, you, you know, that just paying attention to the customer, taking care of your customer, talking with your customer, and, and that. There's no plan to really uh, change what we're doing because what we're doing works, and, and, uh, uh, and, it, and it's worked very well, served us well, and our customers really... Uh, when I talk to customers, those are things that they always bring up, how friendly our stores are and how much they enjoy them and how nice our employees are. So uh, just continuing what we're doing. Do you have any plans to open additional new stores this year? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on, uh, let's see, uh, six right now, and I'm um, going to be adding, uh, that, that's just here in the first quarter, just the next, let's see. That's up through March. So uh, we're always adding more, planning to add uh, more or open more than we did last year. Always trying to increase it, trying to double every year. That's great. The Congratulations. We open. Mm -hmm. So finally, what piece of advice do you have for other retailers struggling to retain customers during these turbulent economic times? Okay. Well, um, I think that there's really nothing new. I think uh, anyone's in business, they need to focus on their basics and you know, Great concepts shine at this moment also in time, and they, they don't need to do anything different. They just, if they're already good, you just continue doing what you're doing well. Great advice. Normally do. Great advice. Um, well, thank you so much, Mary. It was a pleasure chatting with you. Thank you. To learn more about Relationship Strategy, visit www.1to1media.com.